Does peace merely mean the absence of war, or is it something more profound? In our quest to understand peace, we often fall into the trap of defining it merely as the absence of conflict. But peace is much more than just the cessation of war. It's a state of harmony, a state of justice, a state of balance that exists among individuals within societies and between nations. But here's the catch. This harmony, this justice, this balance isn't something that just happens. It's something that we have to consciously work towards. And that's where the complexity of achieving true peace comes in. It's not just about stopping the bullets and the bombs. It's about addressing the root causes of conflict whether they are economic disparities, social injustices, or political divisions. And yet, as we delve deeper into the pursuit of peace, we encounter a paradox. Sometimes our efforts to bring about peace can lead to conflict. When we push for justice, we might upset the status quo. When we strive for equality, we might challenge power structures. When we seek to resolve disputes, we might unearth deep-seated resentments. Take the quest for social justice, for example. It's a noble pursuit, one that's integral to achieving peace. But it's also a pursuit that can lead to conflict, as those who hold power feel threatened by the demand for change. Or consider the push for economic equality. It's a vital part of building a peaceful society, but it's also a push that can lead to resistance, as those who benefit from the existing economic order fight to maintain their privileges. So here we are, caught in the paradox of peace. On one hand, we desire harmony, justice, and balance. On the other hand, our efforts to achieve these ideals can lead to conflict. It's a complex task indeed, but let's not be discouraged. Complexity doesn't mean impossibility. It simply means we need to approach the task with thoughtfulness, respect, and perseverance. Achieving global peace is a complex task, but not an impossible one. Let's explore how. Can international organizations truly be the guardians of peace? This question is not as straightforward as it may appear. International organizations such as the United Nations and various non-governmental organizations play a significant role in maintaining and promoting global peace. But how, you might ask? Let's use the United Nations as our case study. This global body, created in the aftermath of the Second World War, has been pivotal in mitigating conflicts and promoting peace. Through its peacekeeping missions, the UN has made strides in maintaining international peace and security. These missions are deployed to conflict-ridden regions with the primary aim of creating the conditions for lasting peace. Look at the case of East Timor. In the late 90s, the United Nations intervened to prevent further escalation of violence and worked tirelessly to rebuild the nation. The mission was successful, as East Timor has enjoyed relative peace since then. Yet, it's not always a success story. The complexity of conflicts coupled with the often differing interests of member states, can hinder the effectiveness of such missions. For instance, the conflict in Syria has posed significant challenges to the UN's peacekeeping efforts. Despite this, the UN continues to push for peace through diplomatic channels, demonstrating its commitment to its mandate. NGOs, too, play a crucial role in peace promotion. They often work on the ground, providing humanitarian aid, advocating for human rights, and initiating peace-building projects. These organizations can sometimes reach places and people that larger bodies like the UN cannot, making their role equally essential in the quest for global peace. However, it's essential to note that these organizations do not work in isolation. They collaborate with governments, local communities, and other stakeholders, reflecting the complexity and interconnectedness of peace processes. International organizations have a crucial role, but peace is not just about preventing wars. Yes, preventing conflicts is vital, but so is addressing the root causes of these wars, such as poverty, inequality, and injustice. As we navigate towards global peace, it's imperative that we consider these broader aspects. After all, peace is more than the absence of war. It's the presence of justice and the freedom to live without fear. Scene script. Is diplomacy the key to unlocking a peaceful future? Let's ponder this question as we delve into the role of diplomacy and peace negotiations in preventing and resolving conflicts. Diplomacy is the art of dealing with people in a sensitive and effective way. It's the dance of negotiation, the exchange of ideas, the push and pull between nations to resolve disputes and foster cooperation. Consider the example of the Good Friday Agreement in Northern Ireland, a beacon of successful peace negotiations. For decades, Northern Ireland was marred by sectarian violence, a period ominously known as the Troubles. It was a time of great strife, with a divide so deep it seemed insurmountable. 
But in the late 90s, a ray of hope emerged through a painstaking process of diplomatic negotiations involving the United Kingdom, Ireland, and various Northern Irish political parties. The Good Friday Agreement was born. This agreement marked the end of the troubles and set the stage for a power-sharing government, effectively bringing peace to a region that had known conflict for far too long. So, how did this happen? It was a combination of political will, international pressure, and a shared desire for peace. It was diplomacy at its finest, a testament to the power of negotiation and dialogue. And it wasn't an overnight process, it took years of behind-the-scenes talks, patience, and compromise. But diplomacy isn't just about resolving existing conflicts, it's also about preventing new ones from arising. This proactive approach to peace involves fostering mutual understanding, promoting shared interests, and building trust between nations. However, it raises an important question. Can diplomacy and peace negotiations always prevent conflicts? The answer, unfortunately, isn't a simple yes or no. While diplomacy has the potential to prevent conflicts, it is not a one-size-fits-all solution. Each conflict is unique, with its own set of complexities and challenges. Diplomacy and peace negotiations can resolve conflicts, but can they prevent them? The answer to this question is as complex as the conflicts themselves, but one thing is certain, without diplomacy, our chances of achieving lasting peace are significantly diminished. How can we navigate towards a future where conflicts are a thing of the past? This question is not just a rhetorical one. It's a challenge to all of us to consider our role in fostering peace. One potential strategy for preventing conflicts in the future is education. Education is not just about imparting knowledge. It's about shaping attitudes and fostering understanding. In a world that is increasingly interconnected, education should aim to foster global citizens who understand and respect cultural and religious diversity. This understanding can help to dispel stereotypes and prejudices that often fuel conflicts. Moreover, economic development is another vital strategy for conflict prevention. Poverty and economic inequality often serve as catalysts for unrest and conflict. By promoting economic development, we can address some of these root causes of conflict. However, it's important that this development is inclusive and sustainable, ensuring that the benefits reach all sections of society, not just a privileged few. Promoting understanding and tolerance among different cultures and religions is also crucial. This might seem like a daunting task, but it can start with simple acts of kindness and openness towards those who are different from us. Tolerance is not about ignoring our differences, but about respecting and celebrating them. It's about realizing that our diversity is our strength, Preventing conflicts also involves strengthening international institutions and mechanisms for conflict resolution. The United Nations and other international organizations play a crucial role in mediating conflicts and promoting peace. Their work needs to be supported and strengthened. Furthermore, it's important to remember that peace is not just about the absence of war. It's about creating a world where everyone has the opportunity to thrive. This involves addressing issues of social justice, human rights, and environmental sustainability. In conclusion, navigating towards a future without conflicts involves a multi-pronged approach. It involves education, economic development, promoting understanding and tolerance, and strengthening international institutions. It's not an easy task, but it's a worthy one. Preventing conflicts is a proactive approach to peace, but how can we ensure it's sustainable? How do we ensure that peace, once achieved, is here to stay? This question brings us to the crux of our discussion, the concept of sustainable peace. Sustainable peace is more than just the absence of war. It's a harmonious state where justice prevails, and each individual feels secure, respected, and free to pursue their aspirations. It's a world where disputes are settled through dialogue rather than violence, where diversity is celebrated rather than feared, and where human rights are upheld without exception. But how do we navigate towards such a world? The path to sustainable peace requires addressing the root causes of conflicts, often deeply embedded in our societies. These roots can be found in economic inequality, social injustice, and the breach of human rights. Imagine a world where economic equality is the norm, where each individual has equal access to opportunities and resources. This would eliminate one of the major triggers of conflict, as poverty and wealth disparities often breed resentment and aggression. Similarly, social justice plays a critical role. A society that treats all its members fairly, regardless of their race, religion, gender, or social status. 
is a society that sows the seeds of peace. It's a society where everyone feels valued and included, reducing the likelihood of conflicts. And let's not forget the importance of human rights. Respect for human rights is fundamental to sustainable peace. When people's rights are violated, they're more likely to resort to violence to defend themselves or seek justice. Upholding human rights, therefore, is a powerful tool to prevent conflicts and foster peace. To achieve sustainable peace, we need a concerted and collective effort. It involves everyone governments, international organizations, NGOs, communities, and individuals. It requires political will, but also a change in our mindset and attitudes. Sustainable peace may be a challenging goal, but it's a journey worth undertaking for the sake of our shared future. Because ultimately, sustainable peace is more than just a lofty ideal. It's a practical necessity, a prerequisite for a prosperous and harmonious world.